Hey, welcome back to 65 Drums. My name's Justin. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at some of the best drum plugins you can download for use with an electronic drum set. I know a lot of people make videos on this topic based on the perspective of like a guitar player or a keyboard player who wants to create drum grooves on a MIDI grid and stuff. But this is gonna be more on the perspective of an electronic drummer who wants to be able to get sounds from their laptop. I'm gonna start off with my least favorite drum plugin, play an example, show you around the interface, talk about the pros and cons, and then move up to my favorite option. We're gonna go through four different drum plugins today, including ones you have heard of and some maybe you haven't heard of. All right, so let's start off with number four, which is Jamstick's 4 Free Edition. Okay, so you got a little taste of what this thing sounds like. And to be honest, this is my least favorite drum plugin sound on the entire list. It just does not sound great. One thing it does have going for it though, is the fact that it has more kits than any of the other ones on this list. So you do have a lot of options, but jam sticks, just overall the quality of the sound is just not there. And that's one of the reasons why I would be hesitant to recommend anyone downloading this. The software has got an interesting trick up its sleeve. I believe you can play this in VR because when I was doing the install, it asked if I had a VR headset and I said no. So, uh, but yeah, it, it's kind of interesting. I've never heard of any other drum plugin, at least on the free side, that has that option. So when you load up this plugin, you're gonna go to kits, you're gonna see nothing there but a, a drumstick over here. You have to press load and then go through the options that you have. There are some that are grayed out or uh, redded out because you are not allowed to use them, but you can click on a kit and then it will load it up. Something you need to know, I think this program is a little bit heavier than the other ones on the list, and I've had some issues where I would have had to increase the buffer size in order to get rid of some clicking sounds. I actually had to restart Reaper once because I was having this issue right here. I think it's kind of because of this big three model, you like the symbols sway and stuff as you hit them. In order to actually use this with your electronic drum set, you have to go over here to options, and then you have to MIDI play in jam, you have to make sure that is enabled. I do like the, the fact that there's a velocity mapping thing that you can like draw with over here or use linear compress expanded. But overall, because of how poor the sounds are, I can't really recommend this to most people. Okay, so now let's move ahead to drum plugin number three, which is an OG MT Power Kit 2. All right, so that's what the only kit in the software sounds like. And to be honest, I do like it a little bit more than the first option, but uh, the snare drum, I, it doesn't really connect with me and the kind of drumming that I do. And also the ghost notes are still pretty freaking loud, even if you turn down the compressor setting. But here's a look through the interface. You have the avatar of the drum set that you can click around on. If you go over here to mixer, you have compression options, you got volume options and panning. And of course, you got your outputs. You can send these to individual tracks and further process them inside of your DAW. By the way, just so you know, I am using Reaper. I'll give you a couple of tips on using Reaper with these free drum plugins at the end of the video. Let's move over here to settings, and this is where you can map your drums. For eDrums, there's a whole eDrum section, which I greatly appreciate. You can press load, and then you can go through the presets that people have already done for you. So I just told it I had a Roland TD-17, I think. Even though I have a TD-30, Roland MIDI mapping is pretty much identical. So I, I clicked that, and it was mostly set up correctly for my drum set. All I had to do was tweak a couple of things. All the toms were slightly off. So what I had to do was I pressed high tom, and then MIDI learn. And then what I did was I hit my high tom and then it automatically mapped it to the correct number. And then over here you have the hi-hat pedal adjustment that you can do to really dial that in as well. So while this is definitely not my favorite drum plugin on the list, it is a free option that you can download and just have an extra kit if you feel like messing around with it. Big props to the developers for making this and not charging anything. All right, so let's move ahead to number two, which is perfect drums.
All right, so that was Perfect Drums. Here's what you have to do in order to download this. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, I'm not gonna lie, but it is cool to have, especially if you wanna bring in your own multi-layered samples into your laptop and you need a program in order to trigger them. This will do that for you, which is why I'm glad that I have it now. So this is the website, perfectdrums.com, as you'd probably assume. You're gonna be downloading the Perfect Drums player right here, and it doesn't come with any sounds. You have to go also download the demo kit right here. So once you do all that and you open up your DAW and then you open up the drum plugin, here's what it looks like. You have access to the sampler menu, the mixer menu, and not the drum menu. So this is what you would normally use if you actually bought the program. But what we have here is the sampler menu. In order to actually start using this, because like I said, there are no sounds, you download the free kits, go over here to kit designer, and then load sampler kit, and then point to the uh, I think it's the PDK right here. Yeah, this right here. You, you highlight that and you open it up. Now, when you first start playing around with this, the MIDI notes might be slightly off for your drum set brand. So you have to manually adjust these things sometimes. In order to do that, let's say we want to make sure the snare sound isn't playing the ride cymbal sound. You go over here, select the snare drum. Now it turns green. Now over here on the center, click learn and then hit your snare drum head zone. And then it will change the MIDI note to the correct note. That's all you gotta do. Over here you have direct, overhead mics, room mics, reverb, that's nice to have. Over here on the crash cymbals, you don't have quite as many options sometimes. It just depends on the instrument. If you wanna see the different sound options for all the different drums and cymbals at once, obviously you go over here to Mixer and you can see everything at once. This program is made by Naughty Seal. You've heard of Naughty Dog, this is Naughty Seal. And then inside a sampler, you have all these different articulation options you have access to right here. So all of this being said, who should download this? I feel like this is good for people that wanna be able to bring in their own sounds and also for people that wanna use this to layer with other drum plugins at once. Because you could have this going at the exact same time that you have um, empty power kit going or the first pick on our list. So I like it as a layering option and as a tool to bring in my own sounds but I wouldn't use this standalone because there is no rim shot zone. There is no edge zone of the ride symbol. The hi-hat is kind of a mess. There's a little things here and there that make this not a fully flushed out drum plugin for electronic drummers, but it's great as a layering tool in my opinion. I wanna use the strengths of this plugin, but not the weaknesses. So I'm using the snare, kick, and tom sounds, but I'm not using the hi-hat sounds, for example. I'll use another drum plugin at the same time, layer them both together, and turn off different instruments in each one until I find a mix that works out well for me. We've gone through a lot of plugins that are good at one thing and bad at another thing. There's always some sort of compromise going on. So now let's move ahead to my favorite pick out of the whole list, which doesn't really do bad at any sort of category. It's just basically good at everything. And that's Steven Slate Drums 5 Free Edition. If you keep watching for a few more minutes, I'm going to be playing some audio of Steven Slate Drums 5 and Perfect Drums together at the same time because I really like combining those two plugins and you'll see why in a second. But let's take a look at the interface. So Steven Slate Drums 5 literally has everything locked down. Most anything you want to do inside of a drum plugin, it can do it. So for example, you can tune all the drums. You have volume adjustments over all the drums. You have multiple microphones for some of these drums like kick drum in, kick drum out. If we select the snare drum, we have all these different mic options right here, plus room mics and overhead mics. It's all great to see. And if you're having phase issues, you can adjust the phase right here. And they get really granular with every specific zone. So we have the center of the snare, the rim shot volume. We've got the snare side volume, the side stick volume, all that stuff. You don't see that in the other plugins. You also have some dynamic controls over here, which is cool to see. Under the mixer option, we have volume, for all these different things. Under the map, I went over here to load presets and then I selected the Roland TD30 and I was good to go. You might have to go do some other things. You might have to individually change a MIDI note here and there, but I sure didn't have any issues myself. I think this is a great 
combination of all the strengths of the previous plugins. So now let's see what this sounds like if you use it with perfect drums at the same time. Now, are any of these free drum plugins as good as Superior Drummer 3 or some of the other paid options out there? Absolutely not. But this video is about what you can get done with free options. And I think that there are some good choices for you to go through and download and see what you like. All right, so now that we've covered a bunch of free drum plugins, I need to talk about one final thing, the DAW. If you're new to drum software, just so you know, except in rare cases, you can't open them like an app. They can't be opened standalone. They have to be opened within a DAW. So you're also gonna go have to download a DAW if you don't already have one already. So here's one that I would highly recommend. It's called Reaper. The reason why I recommend it is that I've used it for years and it works perfectly fine. And there's an unlimited free trial. You could literally use it for free for years until you decide that you do like it a lot. And then you can spend like the 70 bucks or whatever to help out the developers. All right, so step one is go to Roland.com, Elisa.com, Yamaha.com, whatever the maker of your drum set is, and go download the drivers for the drum set that you wanna use with your laptop. So for me, I went to Roland.com, searched up the Roland TD30 drivers and downloaded and installed them. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to plug in your drum set to the laptop. Most modern drum sets, it's all just a USB connection, so just get the appropriate cable. If you have an older drum set that just has a MIDI out port, you'll have to buy a MIDI out to USB, but most people watching won't have that issue. Your DAW looks for new MIDI devices when it first boots up, and after you boot up, it stops looking for them. So if you wait till after opening it up to plug into your laptop, it won't even see your drum set because it finished looking for new MIDI devices. So plug it in, next you'll want to open up your DAW. So starting off, you'll go over here on Mac, click on this, go over to Audio Device Settings. Once you're in here, you'll wanna choose your output. Now on my Roland TD30, it accepts audio input over USB, so my audio device will be my Roland TD30. For most people though, it'll probably be the headphone jack on their laptop, that's where you'll plug in your headphones to hear this stuff, so you'll probably press built-in output. For the buffer size, I select 64, and then I click Apply. The lower the number, the less latency that you'll hear between you hitting the drum and hearing it coming out of your headphones. But if you go too low, and if your computer can't handle a really low number, then you'll hear all kinds of glitches and clicking. So if that happens, you'll have to raise it up to like 124 or whatever. But 64 works well for this 2012 MacBook, so that's what I've set it at. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go over here to MIDI devices, and then find your, your drum set, because you've plugged it in before, so it should be able to recognize it and you'll click on it, and then you'll make sure that it is enabled. You click apply, and we're done with this little window. The next step is to create a new track. So you go over to this empty space, you double click, you arm it by clicking on this little red button, and make sure this isn't muted, because that can cause problems. If this red thing is not enabled, you won't be able to hear the plugin. Next, we're gonna wanna tell it to receive MIDI signals from the Roland TD30. So we click on inputs, go over here to MIDI, click on Roland, and then all channels. Now we need to tell it which drum plugin we wanna use. So I go over here to FX, and then it's gonna be under VSTI, and then you'll just see all your different drum plugins that you've got. I'm gonna open up Steven Slate, press OK, and there it is. Now if it can't find any drum plugins, you're gonna to have to go into the settings of Reaper and tell it where you've downloaded the plugins. Let me know if there are any other free drum plugins you'd like me to cover in an episode two of this series, because it would be kind of interesting to try out a bunch of other free drum plugins and see if there's anything better than Steven Slate Drums 5. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in a few.